Hey, folks, welcome to the 30 and 5 here on 560WIND.com. I am Mike North. You can catch my act every single Saturday from 6 to 9. And then Sunday night from 9 to midnight, where I'll have Kirk Morrison uh, hosting with me this week uh, from Las Vegas. Uh, Jacksonville, a Jaguar linebacker. Uh, who plays the game, so should be uh, some good times had for one and all. And I'm also on WIND uh, 560 on Sunday night and on Tuesdays with uh, John and Amy uh, at about uh, 7.45. And then on, uh, uh, excuse me, Fridays, Friday afternoons between 5 and 7, I'm on with a segment with Steve Cochran. Uh, so check me out there. Also here at NorthToNorth.com. Some big announcements to be making in the next week uh, for everybody. So stay tuned here at NorthToNorth.com and 560WIND.com. Mitt Romney won the Florida primary uh, 47 to about uh, 32, 33%. Santorum, uh, and that was over Gingrich. Santorum had about 13%. Paul had about 7%. Uh, Gingrich said last night, he says it's a two-man race. I believe that. Santorum eating up votes that Gingrich could be getting right now. Paul, I'm not going to say his votes would all go to Gingrich. That would be unfair to Mitt Romney. Romney would get some Santorum votes too, but it would make the race a little bit closer and uh, probably more interesting. Yeah, but they have the right to be up there as long as they want to keep going. Santorum and Paul, they can keep going. But if I'm Newt uh, Gingrich, I'm trying to cut some deals right about now. Newt Gingrich uh, came out firing last night saying that the people of Florida have spoken by giving them a 32-33% mandate, but if you're Romney and you spent $17 million, are you happy that you lost some counties? But if you're Newt Gingrich, are you unhappy that you're the first in history to win South Carolina but lose Florida? So, uh, you know, there's parallels and uh, uh, there's good things for both candidates, but there's some negative things, too. Here's what I'm getting tired of. People getting mad about, oh, you think it's going to hurt each other in a general election because they're negative towards each other? Are you kidding me? Are you insane? Do you guys remember the Democratic primary when Obama ran? You know, there was, there was, there's always negative stuff, but then once each, the candidates for each party get going, then they start concentrating on each other. Believe me, folks, uh, that stuff will, will be forgotten about once, uh, you know, you have the president going up against whoever the nominee may be. Uh, some sad news in the world of entertainment. Uh, this guy was a, a, a pioneer. He wasn't the original. It was, of course, Dick Clark, who uh, started it all. But Don uh, Cordelius has uh, committed suicide in uh, Los Angeles at the age of 75. Uh, the founder of Soul Train was going through a painful divorce in, uh, in 2009. He basically told the judge uh, to hurry it up. He was not uh, feeling up the power. He had health issues. He would wanted to be divorced before he died. Well, he died. Uh, nobody knows yet. There's sketchy information out there what indeed he died of, but, I mean, not died uh, of. We know he committed suicide, but why did he commit suicide? Did he leave a note and stuff like that? We'll try to find out more, and I'm sure there'll be more news about that. Bruce Springsteen, the E Street brand, uh, excited to play the Apollo Theater in Harlem. I heard on the 60s channel on XM Radio uh, that Paul McCartney uh, played uh, the Apollo Theater in Harlem. And, uh, you know, he had never played it before. And Bruce Springsteen uh, is saying he never played it before. Like Bruce Springsteen in his heyday was booking the Apollo Theater. Or like they wanted Bruce Springsteen. Let's be honest about this. Okay, the Apollo Theater he has become very fashionable now uh, for maybe aged rock stars to play. Like a Carnegie Hall, if you will, type of situation. Or the Fox Theater in Detroit. Uh, but in the Motown years, I don't know who was reaching out to the White Axe. Uh, even though Harlem is famous, if you saw the movie The Cotton Club, uh, for having White Axe also. I don't know who was reaching out to him or if they didn't have time. But that being said, big milestone for Bruce Springsteen who will be playing it. It's Super Bowl Wednesday, and all they can talk about is Peyton Manning. By the way, Peyton Manning got a bad neck. I don't think he's playing anymore, but he's encouraged. In the meantime... Gronkowski's ankle is the biggest story. Are we reliving the national championship? These two teams already played. Nobody seems to have a lot of hype going to it right now. Everybody's going to watch the Super Bowl, and I know the ads are going to go big and stuff like that, but eh, I'm not feeling it right now. Really not. Bulls play the 76ers tonight. Uh, 
after beating Washington. The 76ers playing good basketball. Beat Orlando the other night. And, uh, well, who isn't beating Orlando? And today, folks, in Chicago, it's going to be like 57 degrees. There were girls walking downtown. I was downtown earlier today. They're in skirts. They're in skirts. People, I, I was driving on Lakeshore Drive with the, with the windows open. Are you kidding? It's a beautiful thing. Last year, if you remember here in Chicago, we had all them people stranded on the lakefront. This was the eve of it. So how things have changed. And uh, it's going to be, like I said, very nice today. Hey, I'll tell you what. Have a great, great day. This has been Mike North, 560 WIND.com. Flood Brothers Disposal and uh, Recycling Services are professional waste haulers. Now, the Flood family is big on service. It's our number one priority, and we offer extremely competitive pricing because the Flood family is here to help you in this tough economy. Remember, at Flood Brothers, we build relationships, and the only thing we're big on is service. Call us at 773-626-5800 or floodbrothersdisposal.com.